Hi guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade TMS, the TMS provisioning extension and the TMS extension for Microsoft Exchange. I hope this is useful for you. Ok guys, right now I'm logged into my TMS server, I'm using tight BNC to log to my virtual machine. And as you can see in the background, you can see the versions that I have right now. I have TMS 14.6.2 I have the provisioning extension 1.4.1.2 and I have TMS XC 4.1 and I'm going to upgrade this to TMS 15.01 I'm going to then upgrade the provisioning extension to 1.5 and finally I'm going to upgrade TMS XC to 5.0 before you start with the upgrade, you want to make sure that you have a backup or, as in my case, that you have taken a snapshot of your virtual machine just in case something goes wrong. We're going to start with TMS. It has found the version that I already have in my server, so we're going to click Yes that we want to upgrade. As you can see, this is going to be the wizard for TMS 1501. We're going to click on Next. This is the license agreement, so you need to click Yes. My SQL instance is not on the same server. I use an external server and I need to type the password for it. In here, since we are upgrading from 14 to 15, you will need to have your license key available. This is the configuration for my server, the IP, and also the email settings. In case that you want to change them, you can go ahead, otherwise you can leave them as they are. And we're going to click Next. I'm going to leave the default destination folder. I'm going to click Next. I'm not going to create a new encryption key. Click Next. And this is the overview of the settings that are going to be used. In case everything is ok, we need to go ahead and click next and the installation is going to take place right now. As you can see, the process has just finished. We need to click on finish. Right now I'm going to wait about 5 or 10 minutes before I log into TMS to make sure that the version is now 15.0 and once I have confirmed that, I will go ahead and then upgrade the provision and extension and then we will upgrade TMS XC. And now we can move on. It has been quite some time because I actually took some time in order to add the option keys. As you can see, the server right now is fully licensed and we are on 1501. The next step is going to be upgrading the provisioning extension. It found our older version, so we're going to click yes because we want to upgrade. We're going to get the wizard. We click next. We're going to choose the I accept the terms in the license agreement and then click next. I'm going to install all the features. I'm going to install the user portal and CMR. We click next. And right now I need the username for my TMS. The database for TMSP is also on a separate server. We need to input the password for the SA user to connect to it. And we click Next. This is the final step. We're going to click on Upgrade. It has finished. We're going to click on finish. 
just as with TMS, I'm going to give it about 10 or 15 minutes because the provisioning extension takes a bit more time to start all the services. Once they are all started, I'm going to check the status in the TMS web page and then we're going to do the final upgrade, which is going to be the TMS XA. It has already been a few minutes after the upgrade of the provisioning extension and I can see through the TMS interface that I get only green checks in the diagnostics. We're going to go ahead and continue with the upgrade and this time we're going to upgrade the TMS XE. As you can see it found the previous version and it's asking us if we want to upgrade or cancel. We're going to click on upgrade. This is going to be the wizard, we're going to click on next. We need to check the I accept the terms in the license agreement, then we click next. In my lab I'm not doing any clustering, that's the reason why that feature is disabled and I'm going to install only the booking service and the performance monitors. We're going to click next. Those were all the settings that we need to make sure were ok. We can click on upgrade right now and it's going to go through the procedure. And as you can see, it was really fast. We're going to click on finish. We're going to get the page in which we need to confirm all our configuration. The server address and all the information, in my case it's ok, so I'm going to click next. All the settings are the original settings that I used when I initially installed TMSXE. I'm going to keep them. In case you want to change them, this is the time to do it. I don't have a lot of system, I'm just going to click next. On the location for the data files, the configuration and the logs, I'm not going to change them, I'm going to keep the default, I'm going to click on next. And those were all the settings that you had to configure after the upgrade. We're going to click on finish. Yes, we want to start the TMS XE service. As with the previous upgrades, I'm going to give it a few minutes before I make a test and make sure that it is working ok. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this was useful for you.